Theater guests. <sighs> Theater guests are getting worse and worse. And I'm not the exception. I, there are times when I am not the exception. I lose track of myself. Young families letting their kids run up and down the aisleways. Uh, I'm thinking specifically of when I went to, of when my buddy and I went to see The Lion King, the live action one, and it sounded like the African stampede going up and down the aisle every 20 minutes, and it seemed like it was always the same family. the time my sister and I went to see Endgame and the lady kept letting her maybe it was Civil War I think it was Civil War the time that my sister and I went to see Captain America Civil War and the lady let her phone ring and keep ringing twice and the third time her idea of, of shutting the phone up was to answer it in the upstairs auditorium not handicap accessible, so she's out of the excuse of, well, she was just handicapped and couldn't really leave her seat. Just last weekend watching Jurassic World, a snot-nosed kid who insisted on sitting in the aisle behind me, not in his seat, but in the aisle right behind me, blowing his nose all night, uh up until right up until his arms started appearing in in the seat next to mine no uh uh i know you want to see dinosaurs kid but get well soon then come see dinosaurs and obviously a five six year old kid sick or not did not come to the theater alone my issue is with his parents not not sitting him in his seat letting this happen. The horror story from a very a very dear friend of mine here in town that she and her, that she and her significant other went to go see Maverick the same night and were dealing with an adult who wouldn't shut up the entire movie. And then was not even stage whispering, theater whispering, was talking at a normal decibel. Ruining an absolutely perfectly good movie. Absolutely. Once again, if you... Even if you didn't like the original Top Gun, I loved Maverick. And I didn't think very highly of the original Top Gun at all. And again, I'm, there are t times when I'm part of the problem. I mean, Maverick. I heard Highway to the Danger Zone amp up, and I was psyched. Mm hmm. But it was that kind of a softer decibel, and it quit as soon as the song ended. Yeah. Welcome to Ask the Author Friday. I am your host. I'm Mr. Kent Brindley. Let's proceed. Let us proceed with right where we ended up. I got some good questions this week. Ask the Author Friday. If you didn't know, I'm a self-published author, I'm a writer, and Fridays are my chance to really get back to the, back to you guys and just kind of visit, have a little fireside chat minus the fireside. Let's go. Festivals. It's festival season again in South Haven. We haven't had a good Harbor Fest in 
three years. Thank you, pandemic. Thank you, local leadership. Uh, it's been three years since we've had a Harbor Fest. It's back. Visitors to our town, enjoy it. Treat us locals with respect. It's been a long time since any of us had a festival. I know we're all excited for this. If you must go out to eat during festival weekend especially, tip your, tip your servers. Treat them with a little dignity and class. Because the servers in this town are my friends in this town, and if I hear, and if I hear that they've had a bad day, I have a bad day. If I'm having a bad day, you're gonna have a bad day. Let me tell you. Anyway, Harbor Fest. Uh, great music. Uh, we do have the food vendors down Water Street. Um, Water Street is a very nice south pier. To be honest, I, I think that's basically all that Harbor Fest is. I mean, the blueberry pie eating contest, the beer tent, the, the parade are all meant for blueberry festival. Dragon boat races. Harbor Fest has the dragon boat races for you to observe throughout Saturday. That's right. And we got lots of great music for the evenings. Lots of great food vendors down Water Street. A lot of restaurants here in town, so you can partake of that. Next question. Pick your superpower. Pick my superpower, okay. Uh, growing up, it was it was either He-Man's strength, Batman's utility belt, or Spider-Man's web swinging. That's what I was growing up. Then I thought, then I thought that shapeshifters or disguise enthusiasts were just awesome, so I'd have picked shapeshifting. Now, I mean, well, I'm unlicensed and I like to be able to get places. Flight or teleportation would be natural. Okay. Flight, teleportation. I don't really want Flash's super speed. That's just stupid. Aquaman swims really good, so if I want to get someplace, there'd better, there'd better be water in between us. Uh, mind reading. Mind reading might be the most practical. Mind reading right now might be the most practical superpower there is. Annoying, more of a burden than anything but practical. Fut Vim and Vaunt. What women want. Let's circle back to what would make mind reading so practical. What women want. Okay, um... If I knew that, my life would be in a lot better place right now. Because for me, what they want is the is the good guy friend who they only love like a brother, and Who offers them empathy and sympathy and who occasionally brings them ice cream. That's what they want from me. Hey, it works. It keeps the 
keeps my friends who happen to be girls happy. Maybe right now that's what I need in my life. Could always hang on to, to the friends. Bad 80s music. You know I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm walking on sunshine, whoa, I'm walking on 99 red balloons. Can dance if you want to, we can leave your friends behind, cause if they don't dance, they don't dance, then there ain't, then there ain't no friends of Medale, Summer Dales, oh, Medale, Summer Dales, Summer Dales. Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus. Oh, Amadeus. Amadeus, Amadeus. Amadeus looks like a lady. Amadeus looks like a lady. Amadeus looks like a lady. So squawked by Steven Tyler. Yeah, not a good look. Alright. This has been Ask the Author Friday. Stay tuned next week. There will be more questions. If you would like to submit questions for future weeks, you can do so in the comments section down below there. Um, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to watch some, some other videos. Or to look at the look at the playlist for Ask the Author Friday, right? Where this will go eventually this evening. Thanks. Subscribe for more content. Submit some questions to make Ask the Author Friday a little bit more fun. You'll get your shout outs, I promise. Peace. But women vaunt. Well now, let me tell you. I'm really glad you came to me with that question. Women want. Uh, I'd be even gladder when you can come at me when you could come at me with an answer. <laughs>